So one of the things I do get asked about a lot is how to turn a PowerPoint presentation into a movie so that it can be shared. Now I'm doing it here on Windows, but it works slightly differently on the Mac. Very, very similar, but not quite the same. So I've done another recording on how to do that on a Mac, and you can find that in the description below this video. Or you might see the I symbol pop up in the top right here in the video in a moment, and you can click on that as well. But if you watch this and you're using a Mac, you'll pretty much work it out. So what I've got here is my photography training course. This is my PowerPoint presentation. I want to turn it into a movie. So how am I going to do that? Well, first thing I need to do is go to slideshow here and you get the option here to record a slideshow. Now I've got some options turned on here which are useful when it's playing it back. That's play narrations and use timings. I can just click on this record slideshow here. There is a drop down here and that gives me options later to clear it, which you can't see, but we're going to come back to it. I can record from the current slide or record from the beginning. Well, I want to record from the beginning in this case, but if you're on another slide and you wanted to pick it up from there, you could do this. What it's going to do is it's going to record the timing on each of the slides. And it's also going to add some narration in there as well, so that each slide gets its own embedded audio in it. So let's do this. I'm going to go from the beginning. I could just click here. Let's click here and go record from current slide. And when it does, I can see my slide here. I can use the pen pointers and I can change the colors. I can also see my notes. So there are no notes here. So that's all good for me. I've got some settings at the top here, such as which microphone, if there were different microphones, and which camera. These are things I can't do on the Mac. So, well, not in the current version that I used. This clear here also gives me clear the recordings on the current slide or on all the slides if I wanted to start again. So, on the Mac, it starts recording straight away. But here, what I've got to do is click on record. Actually, before I do that, I just want to point out down the bottom here, another thing that you don't have on the Mac is that you can turn on and off the microphone here. So the other thing I can do is turn on the camera here, something I cannot do on the Mac. So I can't do it at the moment because the camera is actually being used to record what I'm doing at the moment. So if you wanted to have the webcam and people to see you as well, you could have that switched on. So to record it, I just click on record, gives me a countdown and I start what I'm doing. Once again on the Mac, it doesn't give you the countdown. I can pause it so I don't have to stop what I'm doing and then I can start recording again. So if I need to take a break or I just want to um, leave something running for a while then I could do that. So let's click on record and now what I would do is I would go through it. So here is my photography training. As you can see these ostriches here are very interested in what I'm about to say. I am going to either use my arrows to move to the next slide or I could use these here and that would take me through my presentation. This has got a little example of some of the uh, photographs that I've taken. So this is a movie that's embedded and I would talk through some of these photos here. Cute, huh? I have to have a cat in there somewhere. Who doesn't? Anyway, there you are. Oh, don't do this. This is something that's just a filter on the lens that's broken. Anyway, once I'm done, I just need to click on stop. I can now play it back. Anyway, there you are. Oh, don't do this. this. It played back the slide that I was on. I could continue recording, but I'm done with that. So let's see what it's done. So if I click on close, it takes me back here to my PowerPoint. So what it has got is it's got my slide here. You can see here it's got embedded audio into it. It's hidden when you actually play it back, but that's kept the sound on each of the slides. Okay, if I go into the slide sort of view, you can see the timings on each of these slides as well. And that's what it uses to export the file. Right, 
let's do that. Let's turn this into a movie. Now to do that, I need to go into File over here at the top. Choose Export. I'm going to create a video. And I get a choice of Full HD. That's the high quality. I could go Ultra HD, which is really high quality for this, but that's probably not necessary. And you can have smaller files. So the useful thing about this is choosing the different size. So the larger the file, the better the quality. However, a large file does take longer to upload. So you might want to consider that. I'm going to go with the Full HD because that's a good option to have. That works really well on YouTube and Vimeo and other file sharing as well. The recorded timings and narrations is what it's going to use to create the movie. I could not use any of the recorded timings and narrations, but I want to use them. I think they're really, that's the whole reason of why I did it in the first place. If it hasn't got any timings on there from the recording, because I didn't do it all the way through my video, it will put five seconds in for each of the slides. So default, if I didn't record anything, the slide will stay on there for five seconds and I can easily change it by say typing it in. So if I want four seconds, I could do that. I could do 4.5 if I wanted. It's up to you. I'm going to create the video. By the way, I do hope that if you were doing this for real, you actually would have gone through the entire presentation. So you wouldn't really worry about that. By the way, it does use, remember, the ink and the laser pointer gestures as well. So the ink is if I've drawn something on any of the screen there. I'm going to click on Create Video now. I'm putting it into this folder here, which is my Videos folder. I'm going to leave it as MPEG-4 video. That's really universal. It works across many devices, many different computers. It would work on a Mac, Windows. It uploads to any of those file sharing that I suggested before. If I click on that, the other option is Windows Media Video. doesn't play so well on a Mac, so use this. This is the best option, I feel. Then click on Save, and we've now just got to wait for it to export. And you'll see down the bottom here, Creating Video Photography Training 2.mp4 is showing in the status bar. And we're just going to have to wait. This is going to take quite a few minutes to do it, and we'll come back when it's done. So that's finished exporting now. I can see it doesn't have anything in the status bar down the bottom. I'm now going to go to my file explorer and there is the video, Photography Training 2. I'm going to double click on it so we can just quickly play it and it opens up and it's ready to go. It should start playing. I can pause it, click on record. And, now and there we are. There's the video. The and I could training. just scoot my way through it and you can see the video there. So that's not quite a bit that I want to see, but here we go. There we are. It's playing right there. So that's how. Let me just stop that. So that's how you can turn your PowerPoint presentation into a movie so that you can share it. You can use file sharing like YouTube or Vimeo, or you could indeed send it to someone or just transfer it to them so there you are that's how you do that if you want to know more please do subscribe to the channel below i've got lots of videos on there on how to do things with word excel powerpoint iphones ipads photography video and also just recently quite a few things on zoom as well thanks for watching and stay safe